right, all right, all right. Wave, babe. All right, so we thought it was gonna take like 30 minutes to get to Egmont Key. It took about two hours in our dinghy. So we just got here, we have like an hour. So we're gonna go wander around and then uh, we're gonna go dinghy back. The dinghy is half the adventure though, so it's okay. Yeah, here it is. So this week we finally started on our solar project, installing new solar panels, new charge controller, uh, a DC to DC charger, um, battery monitor, and new lithium batteries. This was our first time dealing with solar power systems. Um, neither one of us are much of an electrician. Can you push it a little bit more? <laughs> Thumbnail. But we were able to figure it out without too much trouble and get everything running. So the first thing we did was get rid of the old solar panel, charge controller, uh, lead acid batteries uh, to make room for the new equipment we bought. Then we mounted all the new hardware, measured, cut, and crimped all of our new battery cables, and then installed our new batteries. And then hooked everything up, and it worked. Now, so what did we upgrade to? So we uh, got four Renogy 100 watt panels, we got uh, the Victron 30 amp MPPT solar controller. We got a BMV 712 uh, battery monitor. We got um, an Orion, a Victron Orion DC to DC charger to hopefully take um, the alternator power uh, or the power produced by the alternator and be able to um, charge the starter battery but also then convert that to a voltage that the lithium batteries can handle. We also got two 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries from Battleborn batteries. 
The cool thing about going to lithium batteries is you can discharge the batteries much lower than a lead acid battery without damaging it, and they also charge quicker, um, and they weigh a lot less. And the cool thing about the Victron controllers and DC-DC charger and things like that, and the battery monitor, the reason we wanted to get Victron is the ability to um, see your system status via Bluetooth on your phone or your iPad, and that's pretty amazing. I'll show in the video um, kind of a screen recording of a phone of like what you would see when you're looking at your solar controller or your battery monitor. So overall, the installation went fairly smoothly. It took us about five days. Hope you guys enjoyed our little dinghy adventure to Egg Maquis, um, as well as our solar installation. We really appreciate the support. Uh, please like, comment, um, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue to push out new content. And here soon we're leaving, and we will be doing videos consistently every other week and a podcast every other week as well. So uh, stay tuned for that, and thanks for you guys' support. See ya.